In this video, we are going to talk about Fawaz Pasadin's move to KZ Chiefs. We are also going to talk about Mtutuzum Tanzania's call up to the national team. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this this is where fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a Kusi football club. You remember that last week we were talking about Obolakis Bande and being linked with KZ Chiefs. And we said that move made sense because Obolakis Bande plays as a defensive midfielder, but he can also play as a left back. He's only 23, and it was reported by Mm, that publication that you don't trust so we kind of said you know what let's just not believe this that much now this week new reports even by some sort of semi-trusted sources like about the citizens they are now saying KZ Chiefs are closely monitoring Fawaz Pasadine and apparently he is set to sign for KZ Chiefs at the conclusion of the current season huh Here's the thing, why this thing makes sense. Because he's a left back. Obviously, you see that Lanti signed one year extension to his contract, which means most likely he'll be leaving at the end of the season. You look at Edmilson Dover, he has a lot of injuries and you can't really depend on him. You look at Happy Mashian, it doesn't give you much because I don't know what happened to that boy after that final. So you kind of left with Mtaga from development and that's bit unsettling given that our current coach doesn't believe in youngsters that much i guess so the thing that makes sense is to go out and find a left back and we have been linked with a lot of left backs and fawaz pasatin what i think makes most sense for him rather than obolokes bande is the fact that pasatin is 26 and bande is 23 so you thinking that he's less of a risk Fawaz there is because he's 26 and he has had more experience playing in the top flight but also he's old enough to be experienced but he's also young enough to give us five six years playing at his highest performance level so that kind of makes sense the question from other people will obviously be this are we really going to continue treating Stellan Bosch like our development and the argument is that no, we just have a good relationship with Sel and Porsche and it's good that we're doing that. But if you think about it, there's another issue that we're not addressing right now. The fact that KZ Chiefs does not seem to have active scouts everywhere else where they can be scouting talent. And also, besides having scouts everywhere else, think about the talent from within the KZ Chiefs development that why are we not converting these players who are coming from our development and making them regular starters and actually stars for KZ Chiefs? Because you look at all the players that we currently have right now in our squad, the young ones that came and they were on fire from development, but they are now not doing anything. Imagine how many of those players would actually be playing in any other team in the PSL. Quite a few players would be playing in any other team. But since we've kind of stunted their growth, we end up having to go out and get players from other teams. Because this, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of people have been talking about how, yeah, KZ Chiefs needed to start a potato chips business because we need to compete with other teams and all of that stuff. But you look at Barcelona right now. Who are their star players? Right now, this Yamal is a big star of theirs. You look at a player like Gavi, you look at Petri. Their top three players currently all came from La Mesia, which is their development, because they know how to groom and develop their talent. What are we doing with ours? It seems like now we're just depending on Sterling Bosch to grow talent for us, and then we end up paying millions instead of just utilizing our own players. And people are going to say, but who can do that? And I will say, Mtaga might not be ready to be a starter for the team right now, but getting regular minutes right now as we are transitioning from Shanti to the people who are following him, then we could be utilizing those players. We could be utilizing Mtaga to get the last 20 minutes of the game, to get the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes here and there. He's around the senior team and by the end of the season, he's used to that environment. And in that way, we can still save money and not spend money because we have a lot of players that are coming from our development. Because here's another thing, another relationship between Super Sports and Sundowns, we're like, yeah, the development, yeah, but when we're bantering, we're saying, ah, Super Sports and Sundowns. But Sundowns, reportedly, they just paid 21 million for a player like Maseko. 21 million. 
and super sports can ask for that amount of money because they know that sundowns really wants the player and still and Porsche are getting to that point where they said mendy is 10 million and we're like no we're not paying 10 million for mendy and then they said they wanted who mtetwa and people were like oh mtetwa ay, 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 ay. he's too much he's too expensive but selen push knows this they know that chiefs needed mtetwa they're like no 10 million take it or leave it they paid the 10 million now that's good i'm happy that we, we, we pay 10 million for a player that we need but if we end up being too dependent on one team it worries me it really does worry me because what if stellen push changes ownership and all of a sudden the players that we needed or the way we're getting players all of a sudden it's no longer uh producing the players that we wanted so that's my concern my other concern is that 70 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel what are you doing please do like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends so that this video can reach more people like you to do some dance is called up to the national team that's kind of weird in it and I, I usually just sit and look at bruce when he makes his selection and think yeah he has his reasons you know but this time i don't get it man Mtanzan is not even starting for case chiefs and when it does come on it doesn't even give you that much so it really is weird but then again with bruce we have seen players that he believed in kind of taking him to the next level with a player like Moby, he trusts Moby and Moby always delivers for him. He will always give a solid performance. Players like Mvala, Mvala always gives solid performances for him. Players like Lepasa, all Lepasa people were questioning why Lepasa has been called up to the national team. But look at him and his form recovered rapidly. So maybe this is something that I don't see. But what do you think about Chiefs going after Pasatin and also this call up of Mtanzan in the national team? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember, equals and pillow more.